Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, your superstore for salt, sand, pellido, mag, ice, pellets, and flakes, and everything else you need with regards to getting you through the winter. Look at the blades on these snow blowers 24 and 30 inches. Uh, they're raring and roaring to go in case you need a new one. Also, uh, shovels, spreaders, snow blowers, as we showed you, the uh, mag, ice, pellets, and flakes, and the Pelado, which is considered one of the best products around. And, of course, the New York City Tri-State Area's largest supplier of rock salt, and they got tons and tons of rock salt. So head over to Omni, 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York, in southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. And uh, again, the phone number six three one seven five six one one two five. The website is omnitruevalue.com. Okay, let's uh, take a look at what is going on today because it is cold. And we had to wait for the Arctic front to move on through. Uh, it came in at around 4 or 5 a.m. And there actually was a, a, a broken band of snow showers and snow squalls with it. So some places in the area got the ground whitened up and some places got a little bit more than that. But that actually helped to hold the temperatures up a bit because they really didn't start falling into the teens until after 4 a.m. So the lows last night, which were forecast to be down in the low teens and even some single digits were actually more like middle and upper teens. But now we're not seeing temperatures going anywhere today. We're in the middle to upper teens and have been holding there all day long from the Hudson Valley and southern New England, south into central New Jersey and down into Pennsylvania. The southern half, you start to get into 20s and you've got some lower 20s in southern New Jersey and heading down into Delaware and Maryland and northeastern Virginia. It's in the middle 20s there, so the cold is a little bit easier to take. But we are headed down uh, to the uh, low teens and single digits for tonight and for tomorrow morning. So uh, we we'll take a look at the satellite view. At least we're enjoying uh, a good deal of sunshine uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're seeing uh, some high clouds moving across the Great Lakes. Most of those should go by to our north. That's the one thing you got to watch out for on a cold night like tonight. If you get any clouds that come in, that, that will actually help to hold the temperatures up. And also, uh, it's been on the breezy side, and that's, of course, uh, creating wind chills down about 10 degrees lower. Well, if there's a wind tonight, then temperatures tonight will be in relatively tight ranges, and we don't expect any radiational cooling. Fairly quiet across much of the country. We've got some uh, action coming in uh, to the Pacific Northwest, but the radars in the east are quiet and calm up and down the eastern seaboard, save for a couple of cells and special marine warnings uh, going on off the coast of, of, of southeast Florida. Uh, we've got some showers in central Texas, and you can see rain with snow inland coming into the Pacific Northwest as energy continues to move along uh, there. So here's our surface map uh, from uh, late this morning. There's your Arctic boundary uh, down in central New Jersey. It's a weak one, but nonetheless, uh, it made a difference between one side and the other. And <clears throat> that's going to gradually dissipate as we go through the day. The core of the cold air is now moving in over the coast. It'll be with us overnight. And then we'll start to see temperatures warm up a bit tomorrow. We're going to see temperatures uh, migrating their way back up into the 30s. So let's take you through uh, the next several days and give you a hint of what everybody is focusing on with respect to the weekend and beyond. We are going to see those temperatures bounce, as we said, into the 30s tomorrow and probably into the upper 30s to even some lower 40s on Thursday. And then we'll have low pressure that's going to develop off the South Atlantic coast. There's actually going to be a low that's going to pin, be pinned up to the northwest, which is why you see this precip just offshore. Eventually, they'll consolidate into one low. Uh, the uh, precip could wind up skimming Cape Cod later on Friday as the low goes by. And this is going to intensify into a major storm as it heads up towards Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. The other thing it's going to do is that uh, we'll be uh, holding temperatures on Friday in the 30s, but uh, we've got a very cold high that's building up north of Lake Superior. You can see it here. 
And as we go through the day on Saturday, the northerly wind is going to strengthen. We're going to have a flow of very cold air running down the eastern seaboard. And I think Saturday could be a day where temperatures are going to be hard pressed to get much above uh, the uh, low or maybe at best middle 20s, might be on the lower end of 20s. And there are going to be places uh, that are probably going to have a tough time getting out of the teens. So this is very, very cold air. This is setting up our storm system that uh, we've been watching for the possibility of developing here for uh, later Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. Uh, this it's, it's very funny how we've gone from yesterday, which had a low moving off the South Carolina coast and basically taking a track out east, northeast and offshore. Now we've taken it in the other extreme where we have a strengthening major storm developing that moves up just inland of the coast which would mean a windswept soaking rain for much of the immediate coastal plain and heavy snows as you go well inland in uh, northwest Jersey, perhaps, and then on up the Hudson Valley and into up, upstate New York and New England and back through western Pennsylvania. I mean, this is a pretty wrapped up uh, storm on the GFS today. Again, completely the opposite of what we had yesterday, which leads me to believe that we still have a lot of maneuvering and a lot of adjusting to do. Uh, the bottom line, and I'll leave you with this, is uh, the fact that we've got three upper air troughs that we are dealing with here. Uh, the first one is moving off the coast on Friday. The second one is this vigorous system that you see moving through the deep south. That's going to be our storm maker. And then here comes the third one that drops down into the western lakes and sort of phases with the southern system and lifts it up northeastward. Today's runs are showing that the first system in the Atlantic gets out of the way, leaving plenty of room for the second to make a sharper left-hand turn up the coast. But again, uh, the GFS is is still standing pretty much by itself when it comes to this. Uh, the uh, We're waiting to see what the other global models do uh, as we go through the day. We'll be doing a Weather in 10 video on my weather platform on Patreon, doing some long-range analysis on that. And, of course, you can watch it uh, tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. We're certainly going to be talking about this tonight, uh, and that will be at 7.30 uh, Eastern Time. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number there. Make sure your home is, uh, the outside of your home is clean and safe to get rid of all the snow and ice. Should we get some more? And I'm sure we will at some point. If not this weekend, then the next one that follows. The website is omnitruevalue.com. So uh, we will see you tonight uh, at uh, 7.30 Eastern Time. Patreon members, we'll see you in just a little bit.